Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to give you my number one Google Maps ranking secret. Watch this. I dedicate this video to my brother, Darren Marion. All right, what's going on guys? In today's video, I want to go over Google categories. I don't mean Google My Business categories. Those are the ones that you select when you're setting up your Google My Business. I'm talking about categories that when Google scans your website, they put you in a certain category, or if you wanna think of it like this, a box. They put you in a box, right? And you wanna be in the box that, that uh, your competition is in. Because if you want to rank under a certain keyword, for example, I have uh, DUI lawyers, you want to make sure that Google sees you in the proper category. I'll get into it in a couple of seconds if you just understand that concept. The Google 3-pack is the most clicked on area on Google. Between 70 and 80% of all clicks are in the Google 3-pack when people are looking for a local service. So you want to be here. If, it, this, if you were looking at this on mobile, you would just see a tap to call button right here, right? You would see a tap to call button. So you wanna be here in the Google 3 pack as opposed to in the organic search. The organic search has a lot of uh, directories, like NOLO is a directory, Justy is a directory, lawyers, you guys know, right? It's all, they're mostly directories. So if you need a lawyer, you need an electrician, you need a plumber really fast, you know, let's, we, we, we want to be right here. But the problem is, is that there's hundreds of people trying to get into this Google 3-pack, and Google's only allowing three people, three businesses to get there. So how do you get your business here? Okay. The main thing that I want you to know is content. 80% of of ranking in Google is the content on your website. You need to have the proper content. Now, my problem has always been watching SEO videos is that people say proper content. You need the right content and then move on. What exactly does that mean? Does that mean that um, I copy the content from another, from my competitor and just change Wilson Law to Smith Law? Does that mean that I go on a very expensive writing site and pay $1,000 for an article by somebody who doesn't know how to write for SEO? Right, there's a lot of variables here. So in this video, what I wanna do is I wanna, I wanna give you an overall concept. I'm gonna make more videos on this subject, but I wanna make you aware, if you're just aware after you watch this video, I've done my job, right? And you've learned something. Google categorizes your website after scanning it under different categories. So for example, if you're a lawyer, after they scan your website, is they'll put you under law, government, public safety, crime and justice. For example, that may be one of the, one of the um, categories that they, that they have you under. Or, they may have you under uh, social services. There's not much of a difference between these categories besides a few keywords on your website. Meaning that if your content isn't written correctly, doesn't have the right content, Google sees you as a social services rather than a lawyer. So if you're trying to rank in the Google three pack, and Google sees you as something else, it's going to be very, very difficult. All right, we understand this. Now I'm gonna put this link in the description below. So just scroll down underneath this video, you'll see this link and you'll see all the Google categories. This is not the Google My Business categories. This is after Google looks at your website, scans through your website, they say, okay, your social services or your crime and justice. Okay, makes sense? Okay, very good. So if we scroll down and maybe we go, for example, right to the ninth page, 
And let's hit this one, the website, Dom, Domini Law. And I just hit this. Now I just picked, I just picked a random one out. We're going to the, go to this website called Siren. Right? We're going to go to Siren. And I'll put the link in the description below. This is the free... This is the free way to do this. I, I do it another way, but I want to show you how you could do it for free. Okay, so Google sees them as politics and business, which a lot of lawyers are under this, but I would want to be under crime and justice. I'd want to be under crime and justice. I'd look at my competition and see what my competition was under. And if they're under crime and justice, I need to change the content on my website for crime and justice. Make sense? Make sense? Okay, great, great, great. So there's a big controversy here about using Fiverr. Oh, don't use Fiverr backlinks. They suck. Oh, Fiverr, you get, you'll get, you get thrown out of Google. Uh, all they did was buy cheap Fiverr links. If you know how to use Fiverr, and I'm going to show you right here, if you know how to use Fiverr, they could boost your website. And I'm going to show you how. Listen, listen. I know there's some doubting Thomases here. So you come over to Fiverr and you're like, oh, domain authority of 90, uh, domain authority of 50. Uh, all right, this one looks good, $95. Okay, I'll, I'll just buy these links. Well, if, you, if you're trying to rank under crime and justice and you're buying links, 90, domain authority 90, for online communities, virtual worlds, that's not your category. You want to make sure that if you're buying under this, you want websites, you want your link on websites that are also in this category. So what I would do is I would copy this. I would go over to one of these guys or girls. I'd send them a message. I say, I want links on articles. I want article links on websites in this category. And they'll go, okay, no problem, sir. Okay, I send the money, good, okay, good. And then when they send me the article, I'll go and check it right here on Siren. And if it's not this article, I'm sending it back and I'm not paying. So you wanna make sure that your backlinks pointing to your, to your pages are all under the categories that are the same categories that you're linked under, that Google sees you under, right? Which is crime and justice. Now, I put together a little form for you. Just let it load a second. I put together a little form for you, and I'm going to say exactly what I just said in another way, because I know not everybody got it, and I'm just gonna say it another way with another visual so everybody catches on. It's important that everybody understands this concept. You have your website and you have your keyword pages. You want to make sure that your website and your keyword pages are all under the correct category. The way to check it is on this website Siren. Once that's done and your content is correct and it's checked, you now could buy articles. You could buy them from Fiverr. Make sure they're under that category, the correct category. Once that's done and you have articles pointing to your keyword pages, right? You have them point to your homepage, your keyword pages. You now take backlinks, more articles, not 950,000, 10 million, 10 million backlinks for $5, not those, more articles, and you point your articles at the articles that you just had. So what do I mean? All right, so you, you, bought a, you bought an article, it was called abclaw.com slash what you should know about DUI law. So you have that URL, 
and you have you, uh, with an article, you know, on, on that URL. Now what you do is you take backlinks, you take another article, and you point that article to the article that you wrote. So these articles actually become a buffer. You don't take 500 links and point them at these articles. It's not going to do anything. It's just a waste of money. Point more good articles in that category, right? Crime and justice, for example. You point those articles at these articles. And you pump that article up like steroids, right? You pump it up on steroids. You pump them up. You may, you, this was now a domain authority article of 35. Now you point more articles at this article, and now it becomes a, a domain authority of 50. And now these articles are still pointing at your article. See that? It's still pointing at your article. So guys, I want you to understand the concept, right? I want you to understand the concept. It is really important that if you're trying to rank in the Google three pack, if you're trying to rank in the Google three pack, that you're in the correct category. And the way to check the category is to put your competition into this website called Siren. I'll put the link in the description below and see what category, you know, the top three are under. Then check yours and see if you're under the right category. Then if everything's okay, have some articles written, but have them written only in this category. Go over to Fiverr, say, yeah, okay, yeah, you want to give me domain authority of 50? All right, great. Can you write it in this category? Yes, yeah, sir, no problem. Okay, great. Here's your $95, write me an article. I get the article. It's being pointed at one of my keyword pages. One of the, one of the links is going to my keyword pages. And after that settles in, then I could take other articles, other backlinks, and point them to this page. See this? How nice. And that's gonna bring up the authority of these articles as well as the juice that's being pointed to your website. And as you start to get more juice because you have great content on your website, under the right category, you're going to start to move up in the rankings. Now there are other factors, there are other factors, but if you just understand this concept, this is going to save you a lot, a lot of time understand that Google puts your website in a category, right? If you just get that from this video, you win. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you. Um, like I always say, please be good to your family. Kiss your wife, kiss your kids, take care of your family. This year is going to be your year. I'm really excited for you. Right? I'm real anybody who's watching this video, like I'm really excited for you. Like this is gonna be your year.